Okay, well, it's uh, tidied up in here and messed up in here again. I'm <clears throat> in the middle of another, you know, seven different projects at once. But uh, I got this MS-180C. Yeah, that's what it is. MS-180C, that easy start. I did replace the side adjust, the tensioner, and... Well, I bought the saw used and parts of the tensioner were missing when I bought it and uh, had difficulty finding them so this replacement cover was easy um, but the oiler is giving me issues doesn't appear to be working so here's the line the brass one's the pump and the chrome and black one, silver and black one. That's the filter. So let's get at it. Um, the only thing I have done so far is drain the oil out of it. So we'll figure out the rest of it as we go. Uh, on this particular model, the uh, oiler is located underneath your handle assembly, so I'm going to have to take that off, which will be taking a fair amount, well, pretty much all the plastic off. What actually spins that if you take this clutch cover off there's a little wire that that uh, rides on so plastic cover off. If this is coming off, We are going to need to disconnect this throttle linkage. So, this head here is just, uh, it's got the Torx, Torx in it, it looks like, but it also has a slot for a standard screwdriver. So, Slide that choke lever up just to take this apart and then I'll uh, slide it back down anytime I'm kind of messing with these I like to have the choke on just so if something gets in there you know hopefully it doesn't make it all the way down so here's what this mechanism looks like so we will pop this all out of here so it looks like we can pop that spring up there this slides right up Oops. so we pop the spring out of here I actually don't know if I caught that so we'll wiggle it back together so 
So that sits down in there like that. And the spring right on top of that, under that, on top of that. And then you have to pull this safety. So pop that out. Lift this up. Twist that off. Put that choke back down. Okay. Now there's going to be these little covers here. They got a little slot in them. And well, we'll figure it out. Looks like these. I don't see like anything to unbolt in there. When I flipped it upside down, the other half of the trigger came out. <sighs> Looks like we're just going to be wiggling this off there. Looks like it's just kind of like a presses on there. So see how this goes. This looks like somewhere we can try. Oh, yep. Yeah. See, and then that just popped right off there. that there's an oily mess so it looks like we got a little line right here cool that line runs in through there. That looks like it's probably our new oil line. <laughs> then we have this. And it's threaded in the bottom. Well, you know, this little extra tensioner is the right thread. Twist it a couple of times. Maybe we'll pop that apart. Looks good. Little needle bearing looks good. We'll repack that with some grease. Blow this out. <coughs> Just do not see.
Ah, so there. That's that thing out of there. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's pumping, but. Huh. There's a little slot on one side the way it came flying out of there. Can't tell exactly which way it went in there. And not, did not see like a groove, and I can't really see one in there. That looks like it's going to air siphon. Now we might need to set this back on. It has a little, little groove in it right there. Even brass is going to get to want to be careful what you how hard you tap on it and what you tap on it with. It's definitely engaging. Pops down in in that fashion. Oh, and that would be a yes. It does. <laughs> okay. So then that just slides up over that. fun part is down into this hole hey. 
Looks like we got it. There's little square corners that kind of go up under the plastic here. So voila. That's done. So we'll get that back on. And go now we'll give this a little shot of grease give it a quick inspection all of the little rollers are there for the needle bearing So, that's right down there. This has a mark. On the top. I do notice a difference in spinning that. I can, I can tell that it has, in fact, engage something so that little spring clips back on there that's in there We'll see how that rots a little better here in a minute. See part of it. This one. You don't want to be careful doing this. It really isn't the right tool for the job. But this bottom bushing barely fits in that groove so we almost have to at least get it started first. That one looks just about back on there. I 
Aha. And then once again, we got this. This barely fits into this groove down here thing going on. This one's just not as quite as readily accessible. So I was taking that screwdriver and pushing down with the side of it to just kind of get it compressed and started. Okay, so that one's pulled through now. like all three of these thingamabobbers and we can press them back in and they appear to all be the same size oh. and then back to this that on pull that down like that in there then we find the other half of this put this back on but while we got this torn apart I have a little compression tester that I'm just curious to see how how it does so we'll pull the pull the plug doesn't hurt to take a look at the plug And we'll dump some bar oil in it and see if it's oiling or if we catastrophically messed it up. We'll just start it without the uh, chain on so we can just visually see if it's oiling. Imagine it might take just a second before it starts. So we bled that back down. To zero. working better. I don't know if you're supposed to keep pulling it. But went to like 100 on the first pull and as I kept pulling 150 if my greasy greasy fingers can hold on to it.
so it needs gas and oil. So what we're going to be looking for is going to be oil coming out up here. <laughs> 